class, welcome back to this course. I'm teacher Anita. Unit 3, Translating Business Documents and Emails 3.3, .3, Documents about Foreign Visits and Travel Itineraries Hi, I'm Teacher Anita Documents about Foreign Visits The following slide will show you a document about a president's visit in the U.S. Foreign visits. Dear Tom, our president's visits in your region have been confirmed. Patch is our president's detailed itinerary for his field visits in your region. On July 19th, he will arrive in Boston for regional meetings and the 2016 BC's Global Convention. He will meet with your regional managers and directors during his field visits. On July 20th, he will give a speech in your monthly meeting. His speech covers the topics about building a culture of teamwork and providing quality services. After the speech, our president will have a Q&A session with the participants. He hopes to discuss current cross-department problems and the importance of market share. In a he will share with you his experience of localizing BC's iconic products in Taiwan. Best regards, Anita. Now let's take a look at the Chinese translation of the previous document. You have finished reading through the Chinese translation of the previous English document. I want you to pay attention to the dates, places, events, and the people that the president will meet during his foreign visit. Okay, the words in red are the focus that I want you to pay attention to. Okay, this is another document about a foreign visit to Sydney. Let me read aloud for you. Dear Mary, the schedule for your visit to Sydney is all set. Welcome to Australia. It's nice to see you again. The following is your schedule on April 12th and April 13th. On April 12th at 10 o'clock, Cindy will discuss with you on A. BC's current status. B. 
a schedule for joint venture partners from Latin America in May. On April 12th, in the afternoon, Susan will have a discussion with you on our training video tapes. On April 13th, Cindy's subordinates, including me, will attend Taipei City Markets meeting. So I arrange two meetings for you to discuss with the suppliers. Do you agree on this arrangement? From 9.30 to 12, the participants will discuss training plans. From 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., new product launches will be discussed. Best regards, Anita. Okay, let's take a look at the Chinese translation of the previous document. This is a translation assignment for you. You have to translate the above email into Chinese. Let me recite this email for you. Dear Mary, my team and I have come back to Taiwan. I would like to express my appreciation to your efforts to arrange the training class for us. We learned a lot during this class. By the way, I also thank you for giving me help personally. Again, thank you. We wish you and your team all the best of everything. Yours sincerely, Anita. about travel itineraries. There are some tips for translating a travel itinerary. First, you have to pay attention to the names of places and the duration of a trip. In addition to the first two items, you also have to notice the names of hotels departure time and arrival time. A travel itinerary. Fly into Copenhagen. Fly out of Copenhagen. Total duration seven days. Itinerary briefing. You start with the museums and chic shops of Copenhagen, then move to Kolding, home to Denmark's preeminent design school. Finish in Bullard, where a visit to Legoland shows just how much fun design can be. Okay, now let's take a look at the Chinese translation of this itinerary. Don't forget you have to notice and pay special attention to the names of places. For example, Copenhagen, Kolding, and Bullard. Okay, now let me show you another travel itinerary. Fly into London, fly out of London. Total duration is 12 days. Itinerary briefing. 
if there's one thing that England does best, it's splendid homes and the gardens that surround them. This itinerary starts in London's parks and the palace, moves through the suburbs of Royal Tombridge Wells for nearby treasure houses, heads to the Cathedral of Salisbury and the magnificent manors of the Cotswolds, before finishing in the Grand Gardens and estates of the Peak District. So in this itinerary, you also have to pay special attention to the names of places. For example, London, Royal Tombridge Wells, Salisbury, Cotswolds, and the Peak District. Okay, this is the Chinese translation of the previous itinerary. This is another travel itinerary. Fly into Athens. Fly out of Istanbul. Total duration is 10 days. Itinerary briefing. You can explore the best of Greece and Turkey by following this classic route. Starting from Athens classic monuments and then traversing the Greek islands with stops in picturesque Santorini and the glitzy roads before heading for Turkey's mainland. Ancient ruins and stunning views around Antalya lead to your final stop, Istanbul. The names of places in this itinerary include Athens, Santorini, Rhodes, Antalya, and Istanbul. Okay, now let me show you the Chinese translation of this itinerary. And don't forget, you have to compare the Chinese translation with the original document. And this is a document about a travel itinerary. Let me read aloud for you. Dear Lucy, regarding your business trip to Seattle, I have booked your flight tickets and made hotel reservations for you. On October 20, you will take Cathay Pacific flight CX403 to Seattle. The departure time is 9.10 in the morning. The flight time is 23 hours and 14 minutes. When you arrive, at Tacoma International Airport in Seattle at 17.24 Seattle time on October 20. You will stay at the villa bed and breakfast. Your suite has a kingside bed and a nice view. I booked 10 days in advance. The room rates are quite reasonable. It's about 4500 32 NT dollars per night. I have booked a room for three nights for you. This hotel provides free breakfast, so you don't have to pay extra fee for breakfast. The attached is the detailed itinerary, including return flight information. As for your trip in the United States, you have to book on your own after you enter. The United States. Since you have not confirmed the dates for your meetings after October 24th, I do what I can do so far. Best, Anita. Okay, let me show you the Chinese translation of this English itinerary. Remember, B and B stands for bed and breakfast. That is a new type of hotel.
Okay, you have read through this document. Okay, this is a translation assignment for you. You have to translate the above email into Chinese.